Well, it's a story that's getting a lot of you talking today. It's the so-called Billy Graham rule, gender discrimination. Well, the rule is named after the late evangelist, but has also been connected to Vice President Mike Pence. It's a practice among some religious men who uh, that they won't be alone with a woman who is not their wife or family member. And now a North Carolina sheriff's deputy saying he was fired for following that rule. NBC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner live at six. Chloe, why was the deputy fired? Because he follows this so-called Billy Graham rule, he refused to train a female employee in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Now he's suing the department saying his rights were violated. Yeah, Billy Graham's years. name entangled in a lawsuit, a Lee County Sheriff's deputy seeking $300,000 in damages, claiming he lost his job over his religious beliefs. Manuel Torres refuses to be alone with a woman who's not his wife. It's the so-called Billy Graham rule. It is a refusal to separate church and state. You can't be a deputy sheriff because we work with females and, and males and young and old. Billy Graham followed this rule in an effort to avoid any situation that may be suspicious or compromise a marriage. If I was uncomfortable with it, I wouldn't do it either. But is this discrimination? We asked on Facebook and some people argue this rule is necessary. With the Me Too movement, it can help prevent false sexual harassment cases. But others say it's for people who can't control themselves, and this could prevent women from networking in a professional setting. It is an employer's responsibility to provide a safe working environment. Deanna Baumgardner is an HR consultant. She says every workplace should strive for a respectful culture where this is not an issue. You know, you have meetings if it's not private information, if you have it in the break room or in a conference room with the door open, or, you know, talk to your coworkers or your manager and say, hey, I'm going to go have a meeting with so and so. And, you know, I should be back in about 30 minutes. The deputy filed a religious accommodation asking to avoid being put in any situation like this. That was also denied. Live at the Billy Graham Library, Chloe Leshner, NBC Charlotte. It is a fascinating debate. I'm sure this is not the last we've heard of it. Thank you, Chloe.